Green Street here in Champaign, restaurants are of a huge abundance, and recently we've seen many new ones pop up all over the place. This list includes places such as Antonio's Pizza, which is returning after a short absence from the Champaign-Urbana area, and Smokehouse, which has replaced Beef Sand, which used to be a little hot dog joint. But one place in particular, Nero's Euros, located just under Clybourne's Bar, a bar that has been there for a good amount of time, has seemed to have attracted many people in the Champaign-Urbana area. Nero's Euros is a has a great location and it was a great idea for them to open there because the bar closes and they're still open so people are just walking out of the bar just walk directly into Nero Zero's and they get a ton of customers. There are a lot of restaurants that have opened up here on Green Street, a lot of new businesses for new local business owners. Looking at the other side of things there are a lot of businesses and stores that have been shut down especially IHOP and Campus Liquors right next to each other located on 3rd and 4th on Green. I mean it was way easier because before it was just a block away to get a six pack of beer, a pack of cigarettes on my way home from class but now I gotta walk like three extra blocks it's kind of a pain. Campus Liquors has been a mainstay at 4th Green for University of Illinois students as well as IHOP which was open 24 hours for any kind of meal. The insides have already been ripped out of IHOP while Campus Liquors is still standing there. The plan for the Campus Liquors location is to put a new apartment complex there while Campus Liquors will be moving to a new location that has not been decided. However, these aren't the only two buildings across campus closing as there have been a couple more down Green Street that some students really do miss. Campus, I liked beef stand a lot. They had some great food, they had great hot dogs, and I really liked their cheese fries. The construction just always seems to continue. I'm Kyle Breitbarth for UI7 Newsbreak.